And so it begins. Welcome back, friends and family, to the Holy Imperial Republic. Currently led by High Chancellor Vasant Okoros. He is under review today, and let's look at exactly what he's bringing us. Ship maintenance savings. This is our biggest expense. He is going to drop that very quickly. Troop maintenance savings, also a large expense. He will drop this as well. But let's look at war it's not like a war weirdness reduction. Who cares? Espionage. Plus 17. All of our spies are at plus 17. Look at this. He's stealing something. 99%. 95%. Orbital escape launchers. Basic diplomacy. Penetrating scanners. And then counterintelligence. Our clandestine service is really benefiting from having a leader like Basant. Okoros. The council has spoken. Fasten Okoros, he's on it. San Okoros, he's on it. No doubt they want to keep him. But Basant, High Chancellor, you will get another term. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Let's get it going. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're fixing up our fleets. And I did test, I just wanted to let you guys know, I did test to see if starfighters increase the uh, maintenance requirements or the maintenance cost on top of what they actually cost. So if I remove this bay, let's go into ship designer, go to the starports, hit upgrade. If I remove this bay, you see it's 758 on the right there. Now it's 754. Um, so I didn't actually save that, but it would have been 754. Brief interlude. What are we looking at? Hmm, scenery bonus. Okay, that's in our space. Not in our space. In our space. Sense car system. Very nice. So anyways, there was a question about bombers and their maintenance it says the maintenance is 81 and for interceptor it says the maintenance is 49 so if i removed these would it actually change the math on the costs and it looks like it doesn't it was it's kind of hard to tell i'll have to do more testing later but basically once i retrofitted all these spaceports it stayed at 24,000. and then when when we got the temporary colonization it dropped but that's okay Research base in the Harlem Cal. Oh, resort base. Yeah, let's go. Now, the other thing that I did, and I did this in between episodes, is resort bases. Where did I find that? I think it was just in here. Mm, blind tourism. So our, our tourism is very low. We need tourists going to our resort bases. Being in war probably doesn't help. And our tour, our well, private economy rich, and our um, our resort bases. You know, we need to make money. It's part of our our racial goal. Policy settings. What am I even doing? I'm just looking here. Ah, uh, here we go. So our resort bases are costing us twenty four hundred, but we're only making a very small amount from them. Oop. Boop, boop. It's here. Tourism. 551 this year, but 964 last year. It's not a lot. Nobia and Gifi took a colony from the room. Great. Great. If Nobia gets this, they're going to be so strong. Tillis? Where's Tillis? No, we're not doing Tillis. We're not doing Tillis. Anyways. 
We're currently at a time of peace. I'd like to get my fleets on the move. To start clearing out uh, the gate here. So can you go there? And then fifth fleet, I'm going to retire a bunch of these ships. I don't need to be paying for them. I'd rather have the tech. And that's just that. And I just don't need the extra five ships in this fleet. We have a destroyer, we have a frigate, uh, we have three frigates, and then we'll have four escorts. That will do plenty of work for us. Okay, let's um, pick up the pace here. And you're gonna see just how much the temper colonization actually does for us. Rapid point defense, thank you, Coricolos. Now I could send my spies on specific missions, but I'd rather them just keep on ticking. There's temper colonization, and look at that. Big savings. Now if we go to our colonies, we're going to see overnight that plus five got us positive income. Asu, remember all these were like minus 5,000. Asu doing well, Harun Kal 3 doing much better. Inventory's not. Olkoi, this one is doing fantastic. So Olkoi is going to be a big money maker for us at some point. Can't build research station, can't build resort base. So the other thing that I did to my resort bases, to our resort bases, is... I made a little change. I added another passenger component and a recreation center. I think, I don't remember if I did this before, but I figured if there was another recreation center on here, um, it would be better. So now they have a passenger uh, complement of 6,000. So if we can get, okay, well, we're not doing that. Let's just clear these out. Nobia's having problems. We've detected things. Okay. Not doing that. Yes to doing that one. Not doing this one. Although getting Kazlan up there would be nice. Spaceport complete. Under attack by Gravelex. We're going to go deal with that in a minute. Aquarios took. Typhoon. So now the Nobia is in our um, Asu system. So Nobia just showed up with a bunch of ships. Is this mine? Yeah, how come you can't see them? Interesting. It's an ice tundra moon with humans on it. It's so weird. Like minus 20, this thing probably costs a fortune. For any empire that's using it. Good looking industries, building weapons academies. So let's science stuff. Getting tech, getting tech. Yeah. I don't I don't want this planet. It's bad. It's gonna keep growing and keep costing a ton of money. And where's this? No, we're not doing Alright, continue. Okay, so what's the next big play for fixing my our Economy. We need continental colonization. We need improved temperate. So improved temperate will get the last few above, but you can also see it's eight eight years to uh, to do. So let's see if that's actually going to be worth. So obviously, continental is going to fix the ancient slave colony, which is what I'm after. They'll also work on. Immaturi, and we're back at war. Great! <laughs> surprise, surprise! The Xenex want to try and beat us in another war. This is a disaster. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. So I think getting Continental is going to do it, although we can bring two more planets above 20 by getting three planets above 20. 
Uh, well, you know, we kind of have to do them both. So what we'll do is we're just going to hit up Continental because it's five years. And we're going to do Improved Temperate. Um, I know I want all this. I, I'm going to want Recreation Systems because that's going to save us 1% savings. Uh, this is going to give us extra medical rating, which is going to be great. So I think we'll do it... Yeah, we'll do it after. Let's let's get this tech. It's going to take 170 days. They'll take 163. They'll take 163. Efficient bean weapons I want and hyper drives I want. I want all this stuff, but also we need to sort this out. So I'm going to try and crash this in a year. And we're going to try and burn through these as fast as possible. So let's go. Now let's slow it down just a second. Look at our fleets. Ghost fleet, you're refueling, yes. Fifth fleet, first fleet, you are home. I wanna send you to Urkaburis, but what if I go and take a quick stop? No, we're at war and I don't know where they're gonna hit, so first fleet, refuel there. Your base is this mining station, so I want you to defend it. And we're going to see if we can pick off anything out here. Oops. Yeah, we're going to see if we can pick off anything out here, especially if we can get any attacks in. That would be fantastic. Please refuel. And you're refueling too. Ethical system. I thought we weren't doing the ethical system. No, we are doing the ethical system. Give me that steel. Okay, we're almost there. Ships are moving. Fifth Fleet's guarding home. Also getting fixed up. Fossil system? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Now, I don't know where their fleets are. I actually have no idea. And I was hoping we could have peace for longer. But they clearly don't want that. Even after I helped them with the, the pirates that were in Dastaleni system. Release system. Yeah, we love this system. Let's get it. Mining stations under attack. Hab Abaddon's doing science. Okay. These guys. Why do they hate me? They. Colonies and bases trespassing their systems. That's the main problem. It just keeps getting worse. They're just going to keep on trying to go to war with me. With us. And. You know, I. Oh, they're friends with Nopia now. And the other Xenox. And I believe they're trying to colonize some of these other nations. None of this is good. None of this is good. Energy spec from Kulak. Kurolag. Yeah, okay. We're just watching. Trying to see who's who's got what where. Let's get off of that man mode. So this red dwarf star's got some stuff. Diplomacy. Oh, you got lots in there. Gurky have made peace with Garus, finally. And we almost have civilian ships done. Here, we'll go up to level two. We'll s just seeing if they want to come and party. Oh, hello. Industrial research. Well, let's build a research base. That's close. I like. I love that. This system I consider mine, so I would like to. This is this is our system. This is belongs to the Republic. All is well. Fifth Fleet. Oh. Knocking down some ships. In the Fifth Fleet. Tech breakthrough. We got some tech. What'd we get? Improved sensors. Great. 
Tond. Tond, I think, is on the... Oh, Tond is actually close. Tond is in our pocket here. Oh, hello. Is it Nobia? No, it's Gurky. Wrong, wrong color. Yeah, Tond is in our pocket, so we'll build in Tond. Alright, just some problems. Fleet detected. Where at? Zeus Mining Station. Well. <laughs> okay. Did they make the ships any better? Not really. They have quantum engines. Starbase. Fusion reactors. Or fission reactors. Energy 2. Garrix 1. Yeah, this um, poor station is not long for this world. And look at all the stuff on it. Polymer, Nephis wine, some Caslon. Wow, it's an ocean planet too. Goodbye. All right, well, I mean, if you're gonna hit me there, I have a six fleet that has a name that's bored. And it would like to go party somewhere. So let's see where they have stuff. Yep. Attack the mining station. I can do this too, you know. If I know where their fleets are, then we can we can fight them. More pirates? Great. Let's uh get the pirate messages out of here. Don't want them. Okay. What would we get? Enhanced civilian research done. Now we're on recreation systems. It's gonna help. Yeah, okay, this is this is coming up aces. So last time. Oh, hello. There's a, a bad guy in there. A space creature. Battlefield sabotage. Good, good. That mining station is getting wrecked. Kamas, where's Kamas? I see it on the side there, no. Sorry, not doing it. Now I do need a fleet to, to suss out or kill whatever Gravelex are probably floating in there. Floating in the Vilicia system. Had to have it on, didn't work. No, we're not gonna build a ship, colony ship. There we go. Olkoi. Ghost Fleet, you're on the clock. Was this an invasion fleet? It better not be. Oh yeah, of course it is. Ghost Fleet, fly down there. Go. And the fighters. Oh boy, the fighters. Fighters and bombers, the swarm. Engage. Kill those troop transports. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at him go. Get these troop transports out of here. There will be no attacking of this planet. Not today. Ninth Fleet hitting Zeus. Getting some language. There it is. Mortonland language. And we're still being raided. Alright, keep going. Yeah, another ship down. Oh man, they're kind of like splitting up here. I don't care too much about their frigates. I want those. Get him, boys. He's been disabled. Get the next one. Yes, yes. How many fighters do we still have? 
13, building 16. Clear this fleet up. Well done. Well done, everyone. No, we're not going to build ships. A freighter was under attack. Where is... Diasum. The Diasum system. I don't even see it. Oh, is it? Was it there? Out oh, near Habaviden? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Detected. Okay. And we are attacking the station with the 6th Fleet. Get the work, 6th Fleet. And the Ghost Fleet, I believe they're done. Get the station out of here. Good job. Now 6th Fleet, you need gas. Where can I get gas? I can get gas in Menace. Um, here's a question. Can I jump to this next stage? Can I jump to Vulcan? Or this mining station? Oh, I know what we're doing. The Menace Mining Station. Yes, we're going to go to the Menace Mining Station. First Fleet's just waiting. Fifth Fleet burning some ships down. Okay. Wow. There's our recreation upgrades. So that gives me, I'm pretty sure that's just recreation two, right? No, that's basic recreation. So we actually have to go and upgrade pretty much everything. Do you have a recreation system? Yeah. Recreation center. I don't think you need the super armor, but I also don't want my construction ships breaking. Does it stack with a basic recreation center? Because it's a different thing. Let's see. 284. 286. No. Oh, uh, well. Okay, that's that. Exploration ships, did they have a rec center on them? They did. Okay. Saving money on those guys. Mining stations. Do we put rec centers on these? We should. Help save some money. Recreation center. And probably another mining engine. A small mining engine. Can we do a large mining engine? Where are they? I'm blind. Why am I blind? L for large. L. Bleh. Uh, what? Oh, it's a hundred space. Commerce center, yes. Cargo bay, cargo bay, command large. Damage control unit, in case you get damaged. Some crew. Wait a second. I feel like I messed that up. Mining station. Upgrade. I do have, I can put a second Oh, there's no, mm, I can't. That's why it's not on there. So I can put a small mining engine on this and I can put a recreation center on this. And I can put another small mining engine on this. Small. And another one. Didn't I click upgrade? Did. All right. We're gonna increase mining rate. Uh, lower that, increase mining rate. There, what's the defect? Yeah, but I clicked upgrade. Don't, don't know if I click upgrade, it goes MS-22. Upgrade. 
if I go to edit. Huh? Cannot be changed because it's in use. Can I upgrade this? No. Apparently you can't upgrade those. Okay, whatever. We'll leave them. We'll leave them. It's fine. Destroyers don't have rec centers. Escorts don't have rec centers. Resort bases do. And there's your upgrade. Hello, resort base. And research stations do. Rec center. Beautiful. Save me 1%. Small pace ports. They do as well. And those starfighter bays? Wow, did they do work. My starfighters kind of suck. But that's okay. Like if we go to the bombers and we look at them, they just have railguns. They, they don't do a lot. I'd rather them have probably torpedoes. So I need torpedo tech. I could give them missiles. Doesn't really matter. Interceptors, it's... They're running the missiles. So interceptors have missiles. Bombers don't. They all kind of suck. They all got shot at the air. But that's okay. Continue the war. And oh boy, are we building a lot of ships. Look at all this money I have. Let's crash this tech. Sure. Got all the money. May as well. No, we're not going to build the ships. Base raided. Not concerned. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Camas, nope, we know Camas. Okay, where's our ships? I would like you to return home. Where's this guy? Where are you? Oh, the lag. I would like you to return home. Yep. Shining remorse. Don't know where you are, but I want you to return home. And you're retiring. Perfect. Build ships. You want me to build escorts? No, thanks. Ooh, we captured an admiral. This is wonderful. There he is. Range, damage, ship maneuvering. These are all good. Construction speed, base maintenance savings, ship maintenance savings? Wow. Can I... Ooh, 100,000 recruit them. That's a lot. Ooh, you know what we can do? We have tons of money, right? Let's see. Alright, we got one guy. Let's see if we can get the ones with the most. Nope, that failed. Let's try them again. It's like gambling. That's uh, 13, that's 14, that's 14, that's 19. Come on, come on, roll the dice. Yeah, now we're talking. Got three more spies. Turned them all to my side. This is great. One of these guys can't be on counter espionage. Actually, he can be. But he needs to be on regular espionage. And you know what? We're going to send him somewhere for tech. High volume thrust? Efficient beam weapons. Can we do it in a month? No. Three months? Yes. Same, same location. Efficient beam weapons in three months. Do it. And you. Aquarius, no. It's definitely Darune. Research. Yeah, you're not as good. Efficient beam weapons. Oh, 99, wow. Planetary export, tractor beams. Some diplomacy, high volume thrust. Three months. Do it. So I just want to check now my ambassador in Darun. Yeah. 
Espionage 20. He's helping a lot. He doesn't have a lot of espionage, but he's in Aquarios, which is helping with our diplomacy there, and he's in Gurky, which is helping with our diplomacy there. So we could steal from Gurky if we want. We probably won't get protected. Wow. That fleet got completely destroyed. Oh, I should have waited a second. All right, let's crash this. Yes, absolutely worth it. We're gonna take all that money we got and crash our tech. Ghost fleet, you're nice and refueled. Six fleet, you're not refueled yet. Treasure recovered, thanks for the money. Thanks for the planetary defense units. Yeah, we're just cranking out ships. Look at all these big old passenger ships and whatever. Take me to this location. It's a marshy swamp world. Oh, it's no good. Industrial research. Let's investigate this thing. An ancient industrial world. We found a data core, gives us a place. 100,000 credits. Well, that's nice. Technology advanced troop transport. Some scenery ruins. We could build a resort base here, which we will. There's already a mining base here. Yeah. No one has any fuel. <laughs> Just how it goes. Made peace, have Abaddon versus Voltier. That's great. All right, six fleet, you're refueling. Ghost fleet is refueled and ready to go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's keep going. Oh, feels good. In two years. This is uh, so far so good. So far so good. How's the fifth fleet doing? Just knocking ships down. Hello. There's high volume thrust. And we got efficient beam weapons. Efficient beam weapons. Improved target tracking. If we look at our tech, go to weapons. Look at that, efficient beam weapons, almost done. Only 30 days to go. So we're gonna weave that in. Getting hyperdrive tech, we're getting torpedo tech, missile tech. I don't want ultra dense projectiles at this time. Getting PDUs, but I think we're stealing that. These guys have fission reactor two. So the Xenox are running fission reactor ones. Wow. Okay. Interesting. We're getting all kinds of shield tech. This is great. Enhanced engines, we got the thrust, so we can actually steal this, it looks like. And one thing I wanted to check, these torpedoes don't have fighter torpedoes, but these ones do, so we could, if we get this tech, enhanced torpedoes, we can start outfitting our bombers with torpedoes. Good old goal sweet, all right. Wait, nope, not quite done, fifth fleet. You're not quite ready for action. This destroyer is almost ripped apart. Zeus system's getting attacked, of course. First fleet, you're just hanging out. We are refueling the sixth, and Ghost Fleet is ready for action again. But there's no action to be had. And sixth fleet is hitting this Dirakun. Just Dirakun in general. We're gonna hit that. It's nice and close to Vulcan. I would love to fly into Vulcan and do some real damage. What are we looking at here? Kulak Industries took something from Antares. Good for them. If we go to our characters, all of these guys are now stealing tech. Yeah, they're taking basically a year to, to steal tech. But they're stealing everything. 
Xenex, Voltpeer. There's efficient beam weapons we're gonna get. Yeah. No, we're not gonna go to the colony ship. Get out of here. The, where that was. Well, there's three in here. So green means gravitic storm. Purple means ion storm. So both these uh, PDUs stolen. Yeah, so both of these nebula, that's what these big circles are, they're actually causing problems. Big problems. Oh wow, I have a, a gas station right here. I could go and bomb these colonies. We can't take them over. They're gonna cost us way too much money. Uh, let's stop here. Draft system. It's a mining ship. Under attack in the draft system, okay. Just one of our civilians doing their civilian-y stuff. Zeus is under attack. Get out of here, Shandar. We are detecting things. And draw. Okay. Let's get these fleets on the move, shall we? Almost. Escort, escort. Wait. What escort is this? You need to retrofit, sir. Another pirate. You down there? A defense platform. Oh, 8,000. Yeah, we're not touching that. Zeus to mining station. That seems to be under attack quite a bit. Hmm. Core system. No, we're not going to take your protection. Get out of here. We don't want to talk to any pirates at all. What is this fleet doing? You guys are taking forever. They're done now. Okay. Let's pause. And we're going to get on the move. Let's take out the best station they have. I don't know what that is. Something important. I don't know. I think this one. It's got two things. Volcanic planet. Can we steal it? No, no, no. We want to blow it up. How come some of these things have low fuel? Can you fill up full, please? You should be filling up full. Freighters under attack, freighters under attack. Stole a bunch of money. I don't like that. Can you refuel? Like. things take forever. Small freighter, don't care. Stolen proof targeting. Hmm, Hab Abaddon took something from the other Xenex. This is so random that like this ship. Okay. All right, Lozak took a colony back. Zeus mining station under attack. So yeah, they're hitting my mining stations in Zeus. They really like that area. I'm gonna hit them here. If you're some link, just whatever. Go destroy this mining station. 
I don't care about the fearsome league. Get out of here. Six fleet, you got a mission. And let's look at the Zeus system. Yeah, so they have their eighth fleet with a bunch of frigates, some fuel tankers, and a destroyer. 1700 strength, and then they have another fleet in Zeus with again destroyers, which I'm pretty sure my sh my systems can defeat. Um, they are cleaning up the north because oh he got exposed. Come on, I don't need in international incidents. Yeah, Calcetti system. Okay, I thought they were at war. They took each other's systems. The 8th Fleet are taking Calcetu. There's efficient beam weapons right there. All our through on beams will upgrade automatically on our escorts, I'm pretty sure. We do have through on beams, right? On escorts, escorts, escorts. I'm blind. There it is. Penetrators. Let's see. Yeah, now the throwing beams too. More pew pew damage. Great. It's wonderful. And we're going in for our attack. It's also wonderful. And the ancient slave colonies almost make us money. Look at this. Also, you're in the green, baby. Well done. I'd like Harun Kal to be in the green. Also, do we have enough Keterovs? We do have enough Keterovs. So after you get a billion of a species, you gain their bonuses. System governance research. What? That was a good steal. Well, every... So we're going to upgrade from 5, 10, 10, 10, 10. So colony, corruption reduction is 10, defense is 10, development is 10, and we get happiness. Gonna upgrade that to planetary. So this is gonna crash our economy temporarily. We're going to go increase colony corruption reduction. That's fantastic. Increase development by five. Increase defense by ten. That's really good. Happiness will stay the same. Happiness will go. Up. Okay. Wow. Well, we're doing it on every colony because this thing is amazing. Wow. What a grab. What a grab. The machinations of Basanta Koros just doing a fantastic job and ship maintenance savings up to 15%. Wow. Wow, just this is, everything's coming up roses here. We're down to 22,000 ship and base maintenance. Facility maintenance will go up because we just built a bunch of buildings. Daisom. No, we don't do Daisom. We will do... Z uh, you know what? I'm not going to do Zeus. The station was just blown up. Gurky's building, science buildings. Freighters are doing work. And we're striking really close to Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan. I want you, Vulcan. We're coming for you. And here we go. Cue epic music or something. I really don't have a lot of fuel in these ships. They're not meant for deep strikes. I think we're going to have to make a deep strike ship. Yeah. Destroyer's under attack, but it doesn't matter. This thing has... No defenses, as far as we're concerned. A star beam and some missiles. And some some PD missiles. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. What we get? Advanced tractor beam. Alright, six fleet. Next target. Go away, Yaris. Off to the next target we go. Now the six fleet's gonna have very little fuel to come home because the jumps they're down to just about half. 
But I'd like to clear this out. This is hurting their private economy quite a bit. It's giving us good value. I only took 20k value from us. We only got 8k. Why is that? We have tons of stuff here. Can we raid these things? I don't even know. Destroyer under attack. Endurican. Yeah, we know about that. Okay. Gurky building more science buildings. Here we go. Can't even affect these ships, they're so strong. No, I don't want colony ships. Doing well, we're doing well. All right, Sixth Fleet, off to the next one. Rinse and repeat. In you go. And we should be getting more money at our colonies once those buildings complete, which that one is at 94%. This one is complete. We're at 34,000. It's huge. Maybe we can actually turn this uh, Ancient Slave Colony positive when it when it clicks over. The fleet is here. Wow, this fleet, like, wrong side of the planet, friends. There. There it is. Ancient Slave Colony up to 500. Wow. They're all building so slow. But you build faster once you get more population. I think once we clear out the system with the Sixth Fleet, we will uh, call the episode a complete. Here we go. One Viper. Why is a Viper the fleet captain? Don't know. Don't know. But this is it. This is the war where we strike back. Oh, Vicious Rock, get out of here. Oh, Vicious Rock Syndicate, wow. Alright, alright. Goodbye. Mining station. And after we kill all these mining stations, we'll just limp home. How's the gas looking? Oh, we can actually limp to, uh... Rucker Ballast, where the first fleet is. Jump over there. Yeah. That is what we'll do. I would love to, you know, get the Zeus system sorted out, but he, they did, uh, the Xenox did a massive push out there. Konish language. No, we're not building ships. Frigate's under attack because we are doing the attacking. And we've almost captured all of our money. Wow. What a great four years it's been. Small freighters. All right. Get out of here. Santa car system? Yes, I know where that is. Hey, we're in the green. What did we get? Efficient blasters. Teak and culture. There it is. Tractor beams. Exposed. No be a. Why don't you take orbital escape launchers? How do you get exposed? And the Diracoon system is now free of Xenox influence. Maybe next time. We're gonna try and hit this planet right here. Take the main system's gas out. I don't know what they have in their main area here. They got a, th a big fatty station. I would love to destroy this station. This would be a massive boon for us. If we could take out their main station, even if I could drop bombs, but I think I'm gonna need a lot more power to fight. I mean, we can fly in here and take out their research station. Mining stations. Yeah, all these mining stations, like we could kill them all pretty easy it looks like and they have a resort base it's on the resort base some missiles fighters Do they have fighters on their mining stations they don't so they have three groups of fighters here looks like four fighter bays that's a lot of fighters 
but not the end of the world. So I could, we could try and hit it. We're going to probably try. The last thing we wanted to do is look at this glorious green income. Oh, wow. Funding levels. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the automated empire funding. Uh, 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 colonies and tax rates. Funding levels. Manual. Uh, we want colonies. Population policies. Sure, whatever. Stock levels, yeah, that's all fine. But we want colony growth. So when we do, basically when we get over this reserve amount, I might actually have to just take reserve amount away. Yeah. So now that's a zero, but we're actually getting some money. I don't care about the science. We're stealing science. I want the growth. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> we lost all the money immediately. And it came back. So basically, every time we get a penny, we're putting it into growth until we can get plus 11,000. And we're trying to pump this growth up as much as possible. We want the home world to get big, big, big. Fuel tankers, get out of here. Continental colonization complete. That was massive. Let's pause for a second. This is the last thing. The last thing. Okay. So we got continental colonization. We're in the green. We are fully funded on growth. Let's check this out. 4.8%. We're going to we're going to shoot up. These human populations are just going to shoot up. But the key here was we got Tekans and Boscara up, so now ancient slave colonies making big bucks. And inventory also positive. These Acadians got to leave. How do I get rid of them? Acadians, you are going to resettle elsewhere. Get off this planet. You're costing us money. Yeah. Get out of here, Acadians. Go somewhere else. And now, 16 Acadians here too. Go somewhere else. Now we do temperate, and we're going to pump all of these colonies up over and our juggernaut of a war machine is going to start to grow. This is this is going to be big news for us. Big news for us. Wow. Well, we'll see you next time when the Republic calls.